Hi everyone, it's Jeremy. Today we're going to talk about a device that's not quite a tablet, not quite a computer either. It's the Xiaomi Book S, a 2-in-1 computer running on Windows 11. And we will see if this format brings a real value to everyday usage, and especially what brings this new type of device, which did not exist in the Xiaomi catalog until now. I received this project being a member of the Mi Influencer on the global Xiaomi forum. You can find this video in French only in the form of a post on the forum. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. And a little teasing, I have other products coming that you should like. The device arrives in a fairly simple packaging and the GAN 65W charger arrives in a separate box but it is supplied with it when ordering. I have the Chinese version here but you will have the one for your country by ordering from your local store. Thanks to this technology, it is more compact but nothing prevents you from using your smartphone charger if it's powerful enough. The cable comes with it and also long enough to be able to plug in and continue to use the device in parallel. I also received the keyboard and the stylus as you can see, but these are however sold as an option and we will come back to the price a little later. As for the charger, I have here a keyboard in QWERTY format, but it does exist in Azerty for friends for example. The keyboard comes in two parts, one part with the keys and the touchpad, and the second part which serves as a cover and which protects the tablet while also allowing tilting support to keep it straight. This one is made of imitation leather and is connected to the pogo connector located under the tablet. The keys of the keyboard are pleasant to the touch, they are closer to a computer compared to the keys of the keyboard of the Mi Pad 5 Pro, which I also use. The keys are also backlit for the night but only have one lightning level. The touchpad works well and even if we are not at the same level of a classic laptop, I was able to write all the text of my videos directly on it with the tablet on the keyboard on my knees. So for something very portable, it really works well. For the stylus, it's the same as the one available for the Xiaomi Pad 5 or 5 Pro. So if you already have this tablet, it will save you from buying it again and I'll put the links to the product details in description if you're interested. For the tablet or the computer, if you prefer, this one measures 8.95mm thick or for a weight of 720 grams. This is made of aluminium and magnesium alloy and you can find the 13 megapixel rear camera in the upper corner. On the left side there is a loudspeaker, on the top two microphones, on the right side an SD card drawer, a USB-C port, a jack port, the power button, the volume button and a second speaker for the stereo. On the bottom are the pogo connector to connect the keyboard. We will therefore not have a fingerprint reader to secure the unlocking but we can however use the front camera with Windows Hello if you want to avoid password and this one works very well. If we add the keyboard to the tablet, it comes at a weight of 1 kg and 170 g and the whole thing is thicker than my MacBook Air to give you an idea. On the other hand, I cannot remove the keyboard from my computer and here the whole thing attaches and detaches easily, which is practical for switching to multimedia use, to watch videos or go to social network in tablet format and come back to something more productive or to do research with the keyboard. For the screen, it is 12.4 inches with a WQHD plus resolution, 16 by 10 format, the color range covers 100% of the DCI P3 standard and the brightness goes up to 500 nits, which allow you to use it even if there is a lot of light around you. Beware of the reflection which could interfere in this situation. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass 3 and no OLED screen or eye refresh rate here. It is LCD, 60Hz and the most interesting point would be to have a larger screen to watch content compared to a more classic 11 inches tablet for example. The device is equipped with the second generation Snapdragon 8C Axe processor, 8GB of RAM and 266GB of storage. The processor uses an ARM architecture which is different from more traditional processors such as the Intel Core A5 or Intel Core i7 which are found more often and this one is supposed to be less energy consuming. The big downside is that most apps aren't meant to work with this type of processor and that some are not compatible at all. For example with the Adobe Suite that I use for my YouTube channel I was able to install Photoshop and Lightroom with the Adobe installer but not able to open them and I couldn't even install the rest like Premiere Pro or even simply Acrobat Pro which I could have used to edit PDF with the stylus. I managed to install Lightroom through the Microsoft Store and it then worked but Photoshop was not available so you can find other way to install but that's more of a workaround than a true solution. Of course we can use other software which would be compatible and which would fulfill the same function but I think that it is rather the device which must adapt to my use and not the reverse otherwise I'll buy another device. 
For the system, it works with Windows 11, which comes in version S and which you can exit in order to install what you want. This one works well for all the classic navigation in tablet format. It responds well to touch too and it has no particular slowdown. We take advantage of the computer side when we attach the keyboard and we can navigate in the same way as on a more classic device. We have several windows and above all we have a video output to use it on an external screen which is not available on the Xiaomi Pad 5. And it is better suited for all this productivity than on Android or quite simply if you want to make a PowerPoint presentation or this kind of thing. The tablet also has Bluetooth 5.1 and Wi-Fi 5, not Wi-Fi 6 in this case. For the benchmark, I did several tests with 3D Mark, Geekbench or even Crystal Disk Mark and I was not really impressed by the result unfortunately. You'll have more power than a Core if 3 but less power than a Core if 5 that can be found on other equivalent devices but above all this Core if 5 will allow you to install everything you want unlike this Snapdragon. Also note that a new version of this processor was recently released so perhaps this one offers more performance. You can play small games on it, but you will have to turn to cloud gaming instead if you want to play real games. For autonomy, the brand announces an autonomy of more than 13 hours, and in my case I rather arrived around 7 by using it to watch YouTube videos, series on Amazon Prime and Disney Plus, or for office use and write text. Fortunately, recharging is done fairly quickly with the charger and you can also use it while charging. For audio, it has a jack port, stereo, and the sound is good enough to watch content, listen to music, or for video calls, but nothing transcendent. So here is an example with the selfie camera, so you can see what people could see if you would make some video calls with them. So in this situation, you can film up to Full HD 30fps, and I'll show you some example with the picture taken from the main camera. The main camera is good enough if you want to take some pictures or documents or some souvenir photo, but the quality is not as good as a smartphone, obviously. Now we move on the part that hurts the price. The tablet costs only $6.99 in France. You should check your local store for exact price and my conclusion is based on the French price. It is sold without accessories by default except for the charger. The keyboard costs 149 euros but if you take it at the same time as the tablet it goes to 99 euros which make it more interesting and for the stylus this is the same price. It is also the same stylus as the one used for the Xiaomi Pad 5 as already told so if you already have one it's always less to spend. Without any discount, the price is 800 euros to have the minimum, namely the tablet plus the keyboard. When I say that it is the minimum with the keyboard, it means that the stylus can come later, but using this tablet without keyboard, it loses a bit of interest since it's a productivity-oriented device, and if it is to use it in a tablet format only, an Android tablet would be better suited and way cheaper. For this price, we can ask ourselves the question of whether it brings a plus compared to an ultra portable computer like my MacBook Air M1 that I also bought at this same price and which allows me to edit my 4K videos, photo editing and will necessarily offer a better keyboard for a size close enough in the end. In my case, it is sure that if I have to take one on the move, it will rather be my MacBook which, given its weight, can also be used very well to watch videos but above all will not limit me in my usage. Finally, we have a device that is not really a tablet, not really a computer. The IRM processor prevents it from installing everything we want, which may be the advantage of having a model on Windows 11 compared to Android, and we also have none function that it takes out of the ordinary compared to other existing models such as an OLED screen, a higher refresh rate, or a lot of power for a reduced price. I still find it pleasant to use, having a larger screen than my usual tablet, having Windows 11 for multitasking or not taking, being able to have something that works well for watching series, but also writing text in good condition. But it could not replace my current computer at all. If it drops in price in the future, that could make it more interesting for someone who doesn't have too much need to do office work and who doesn't yet have a tablet or a computer. It is still less expensive than the Microsoft Surface on the other end, which is the reference in this field, but will not offer as much. You can also take a look at the Xiaomi Pad 5 Pro, which I have been using since its release, and which, to my opinion, will suit many more people, and which costs half of the price. Tell me what you think of this product in the comments, and I see you in the next video.